inverse of a square matrix. A square matrix is a matrix that has the same number of row and same number of column. That is, the number of row equals to the number of column. And then we could have a two by two matrix. We can also have three by three matrix. We have some matrix that are four by four matrix. You can see number of row is same thing as number of column. But in this video, we'll be looking at inverse of two by two matrix and three by three matrix. Now, let's look at this matrix. It's saying matrix A equals to this. It's saying A, B, C, D. This is matrix A. Are we getting it? Then the inverse of this matrix A will be 1 over determinant of A multiplied by, now see the logic I'm going to use here. I'm going to interchange this value here. So instead of A, we put D. Then here we have uh, A. Then we change the sign of these two value here. This becomes minus C. And here we have uh, minus B. So this is the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. That is how we're going to have the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. All right. Now let's look at this example. Given matrix A to be 3, 7, 1, 5. Now find A inverse. We are given this matrix to find the A inverse. That is the inverse of this matrix A. Now, first of all, we need to get the determinant of A. So we say solution. We first of all need the determinant of this matrix A, which is 2 by 2. Then we say determinant A equals to 3, 7, 1, 5. And how do we get this determinant? So this multiply by this minus this value multiply by this value. And that is a 5 multiply by 3 minus 7 multiply by 1. So therefore, A inverse, this is going to give us 15 minus 7. So determinant of A equals to 8, as we can see here all right now let's now follow this format we say a inverse equals to one over the determinant of a and our determinant here is an eight so we have eight then into then we have to change it though we change this here this three will come here five which interchange so we have a five three then here we have a minus this becomes minus this become minus so we have minus one minus seven so this is the inverse of matrix a or we can write it this way we say this is equal to five over eight minus seven over eight now we have a minus one over eight then three over eight this is the inverse of matrix of two by two, which is a three seven one five. So now we'll be looking at inverse of three by three matrix. The same inverse of three by three matrix, and that how is it given to us? All right. So let's say we have a matrix B, say matrix B, I say this is matrix B to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Now, what is the formula of matrix we are going to use to get the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix? So, B inverse will be equals to 1 over determinant of B multiplied by adjoint adjoint 
of b can we see that 1 over determinant of b multiplied by the adjoint of b all right so the adjoint of b say the adjoint of b is equals to the transpose of cofactor b when we transpose the cofactor b then in that case we are going to have the uh, adjoint of b now let's look at this example let's look at this example all right so find the inverse of b of matrix b and matrix b is of 1 2 2 1 3 1 2 2 1 so we are going to find the inverse of this matrix and if you look at this matrix this is a 3 by 3 matrix all right say so solution here yeah, the first thing we need is to find the adjoint or is to find the determinant so determinant of v and determinant of v equals to say so 1 2 2 1 3 1 2 2 1 So this is the determinant of B. Then we assign the sign on it. We can use any of this row or any of this column to find the determinant. But in this video, I'm going to use the first uh, row. So plus, minus, plus. All right. What are we doing here? Now pick one. Say one. Equals to one. When I pick one, this row is cancelled, this column is cancelled. It will remain 3, 1, 2, 1. So I put it here 3, 1, 2, 1, minus 2. You can see this one is plus 1, which is already here. So minus 2. I'm picking this 2 now. This row is cancelled, this column is cancelled. So it remain 1, 1, 2, 1. 1, 1, 2, 1. Then we have a uh, Plus two. Here, yeah, since we are using the first row, this is cancel. This is cancel. We have one, three, two, two. So one, three, two, two. All right. So here we're going to have one into bracket. Find the determinant of this two by two now. This is three times one. That will be three. Minus two times one, two. Minus two into bracket. One times one, one. Minus two times one, two plus 2 into bracket 1 times 2 2 minus 2 times 3 6 and this is going to give us 1 into bracket 1 minus 2 into bracket minus 1 plus 2 into bracket minus 4 so here we have a 1 we have 1 plus 2 minus it and therefore determinant of matrix b 1 plus 2 and that is 3 minus 8 that is minus 5 so the determinant of matrix b is a minus 5 all right we've gotten that now we need the cofactor cofactor of matrix b cofactor of matrix b and how do we get this cofactor of matrix B, we are going to use uh, the same method we use in getting the uh, determinant of matrix B, but in this case, we are going to do it for each value in this matrix. Now, let's go. So, for one, the cofactor of one here, cancel this, cancel this, remain 3, 1, 2, 1. So, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1. Uh -huh. 
for this to cancel this cancel this we have one one two one say so one one two one for the third value here we cancel this cancel this one three two two so you have one three two two all right for the second row we are pick one if you pick one here this row is cancel this column is cancel row cancel column cancel so i mean two 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 one so say two 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 one for this value here this row is cancel this column is cancel this row is cancel so it will mean one two two one so one two two one now for the fourth value in the second row this column is cancel this row is cancel we have one two 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 there's a one two 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 Now for the third row, we're picking the first value here, which is two. This row, this column cancel, this row cancel. I mean two, two, three, one. So we have a two, two, three, one. For the second value here, which is two, this cancel, this cancel. We have one, two, one, one. One, two, one, one. And for the last value here, this column, this row, I cancel. So it means one, two, one, three. So one, two, one, three. All right. Here we are trying to get the cofactor of the matrix B. Now, the next thing is to assign the sign. Here is going to be plus minus plus the next sign is minus plus minus plus minus plus so what is the implication of this now so now we're going to find the inverse the inverse i mean we're going to find the determinant of each two by two matrices that is in this box now so we say you see we have plus here the plus determinant three times one three minus two times one two that is three minus two and that will give us one minus here minus into bracket one times one will give us one minus two times one two that is one minus two and that will be minus one the third one plus one times two two minus three, two times three is six that is a two minus six and that will give us minus four so that is how we are going to do for the whole boxes here we say here we have minus into bracket determinant here is going to give us minus two we have plus the determinant here will give us minus three minus the determinant here will give us minus two plus the determinant here will give us minus four minus the determinant here will give us minus one plus the determinant here will give us a plus one so we've gotten this and this will be equals to third now before we move on we understood that how we got all this that this <clears throat> for example now this box the determinant of this box is minus one in this bracket and how do we do that say so one times one will give us one minus one times two will give us two so one minus two will give us minus one that is how we got this minus one here and that is how we are going to we did for the whole box here so in this case now here we are going to have a one one minus four two minus cancel minus minus three 
minus cancel minus 2 minus 4 1 1 <clears throat> So this is cofactor of B, cofactor of B. And if you remember very well, we need to find the adjunct now. And we said adjunct, adjunct of matrix B will be equals to cofactor, cofactor B transpose. That is, we transpose the cofactor B. The row becomes the colon, and the colon becomes the row. Now, the adjunct, B now equals to the first row become the first column. That is a 1, 1, minus 4. The second row become the second column. That is a 2, minus 3, 2. And the third row become the last column. So a minus 4, 1, 1. So we've gotten the adjoint of B, which is a 1, 2, minus 4. 1 minus 3, 1, minus 4, 2, uh, minus 4, and 2. Now, let's apply the whole formula now. You can see the inverse of B is minus, uh, the determinant of B is minus 5. So, we say, B inverse equals to, just like we stated in the other time, saying, 1 over determinant of B multiplied by adjoint of B over adjoint B. And here we have B inverse equals to 1 over our determinant of B that we got the other time is minus 5 multiplied by the adjoint. The one we just, that we got here, we say 1, 2, minus 4, 1, minus 3, 1 minus 4, 2, 1. That is the adjoint of B. So we are going to put it here. Now we're saying this is equals to multiply by the adjoint of B now saying 1, 2, minus 4, 1, minus 3, 1. Now we're saying minus 4, Two, one. All right. This is the inverse of a three by three matrix of B. Or rather, we can write this in this way. We say B inverse equals to minus one over five, minus two over five. That is this divided by this. This is four over five. Minus 1 over 5, 3 over 5, minus 1 over 5, 4 over 5, minus 2 over 5, and lastly we have a minus 1 over 5. So this is the inverse, this is how to get the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. It is either we leave it like this or we leave it this way. That is each value here divided by minus 5 lead us to what we have here. So that is how to get the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Thanks for watching.